Hey everybody, so I just want to jump on here real quick and make a video. And I wanted to talk about something because it came to my attention. Because me and my fiance, we were uh, talking on Snapchat and he brought something up. And without realizing, he kind of implanted something in my brain. <laughs> it happened. But he was talking about all these things in the world. All these things going wrong. And he says, I just don't know what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm starting to panic, it's getting so bad. You know, he's naming off all these stories in the news, things that he had he had heard today. And as he was talking, my anxiety just began to just flare up. I'm just like, I, I can't, you know, I can't read this. I, I can't, I told him, I said, I can't talk about this. And I started thinking, there is so many people out there that's going through this right now. And you know, even Christian people, that know the word of God, that, that know how to lean on God, they are even scared right now. And that, that's, that alone lets you know that, you know, the devil's working. He's working in the world. He's working on people. He's working on even Christian people. And that is part of it. It doesn't matter how close you are to God. It doesn't matter if you're saved. It doesn't matter what your salvation status is. Um, the devil will work on you because when his time comes, I mean, God's going to win in the end, but the devil wants to take as many people with him as he can when he goes. So I'm going to read a couple of verses to you from the Bible, and this is from Isaiah um, 5 through, I'm going to say 11, maybe, I might read a little bit further, but 5 through 11, Isaiah 43, 5 through 11, so if you've got your Bible, you can read it for yourself, because I know I have a thick country accent, so if you can't understand what I'm saying, you might want to read it yourself, okay, so it says, fear not, for I am with thee, I will bring the seed from the east, and gather thee from the west, I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back, bring my sons from afar, and my daughters from the ends of the earth, even everyone that is called by my name for, I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled who among them can declare this and shew us former things. Let them bring forth their witnesses and, I'm sorry, I got lost, <laughs> that they may be justified, or let them hear and say it is truth. Yea, are my witnesses, said the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. So, God is completely in control. He's powerful. He can he can do anything. He can he can change anything. The Bible says to fear not. 365 times. I remember I was working with the youth once and a child, a little girl, and the child is innocent, you know. She says it says it 365 times. She says, who in the world sat down and counted that? <laughs> she couldn't believe that the Bible said it that many times and somebody took time to sit down and count that. But it does, it says it 365 times. And the reason being is because God wants us to know that ain't no matter what this life throws at us, no matter what's going on in the world, no matter how people are suffering, how we're suffering, he wants us to know that we can lean on him to fear not because he's in control and even if you're a christian you're somebody that is you know really close to god there will be times that you're going to be scared you're going to forget to rely on the word of god i know that i'm not where i need to be as a christian or in my you know walk with god however you want to look at it but i know I know in my heart that God 
is my only reason for existence. I know that he has a plan for me. He has a plan for this world. I know that everything that happens in this life and in my life personally is for a reason. We're going through things for a reason. And this world is always going to try to scare us. And it's like we're living in a rough time right now. People are dying. There's things happening that, you know, officials and doctors and all these things, they can't explain what to do. They don't, they can't do anything or tell you anything to comfort you because they don't have the answers. All they can do is give you simple knowledge to protect yourself. But the Bible, the Bible, it's a road map. If you read it from cover to cover, it explains everything. And a lot of things that goes on in this life, the biggest percentage of it, it talks about it in the Bible because it has already been planned up. This is all, we're, we're just living in something kind of like a story that has a script, like, or a movie that has a script. That's what this kind of reminds you of. But this is how life works. God has a reason. We have the power of free will, but... God already knows our choices. He already knows what's going to happen in the world. He already knows how the world's going to end up. He already knows the terrible things that's going to happen and the good things. That's the reason that he tells us to fear not. Because he knows in time we are going to have so much on our plate and we're going to be so scared. And times are going to get harder even than they are right now. And people have to prepare themselves for that. But no matter what that news tells you, no matter what this world tells you, no matter how scared you get, no matter if what happens, what illnesses pop up or whatever else, what wars, to, you know, form or whatever, just know you have a purpose. There's a reason for everything that's happening. And don't be scared because, I mean, you're going to be scared naturally as a human. But allow yourself to find peace and comfort in the Word of God. And allow yourself to know that God is going to move. It may not even be in the way that we think it should be because it's not our decision. It may not even be in the way that, you know, we think that we need it to be. It may just be in a way that just ends you know, this illness or whatever. I mean, you just don't know because God has a plan. And he makes the decisions. He's the one that makes the final calls on things. So he, we may be going through something right now to make us stronger. This may be something that he sees as a trial base for us. Well, I mean, we just don't know the purpose of it. But you have to always trust the word of God. You have to trust God. You have to know that he has put us on this earth for a reason. He is putting us through things for a reason. And, you know, there will be peace in the end. They're going to be peace in the end. If you know God and you have God in your heart, you're saved, they will be peace in the end regardless of what happens. Yes, we're in terrible times and it breaks my heart. Like I can't, I can't look at, I can't watch the news. I can't read Facebook half the time. I mean, I just can't, but I'm not going to panic because I know that I have no control over this world over the future of this world, over the future of the people. I have no control. All I can do is pray and trust God. Pray for myself, pray for the world. Pray for the people that I love and the people that I don't even know. You just have to pray and trust God to move. But and remember, it sounds so silly, but remember the Bible says, fear not 365 times. There's 365 days in a year. Now think about that. It's there for a reason, people. Things add up. And if you if you question anything going on, if you don't, you know, fully understand things that's happening in this life, if you don't know where to look in the Bible, you can do some research on Google or Bing or whatever you use as a search engine on the internet. And you can search up references and Bible verses to the end days. And it's in the Bible, guys. It will, it'll show you where to go to, where you need to read. You can read Revelations for sure. But it's all in here. And everything is happening for a reason. But have faith. Pray. Pray for one another. We have to assemble together. Even if we can't be together in person, we have to assemble together in spirit. And pray for a healing in this world for the entire world to be healed because a time is coming that we're going to have to rely on one another and rely on God but fear not 
morning's coming guys and the sun's gonna shine again